Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to talk about the BigQuery data ingestion process. There are multiple methods you can upload or ingest data in BigQuery. In this video, we're going to talk about three steps or three methods of data ingestion process. And in the subsequent videos, we are going to discuss about how to access data from different platforms the data which resides in BigQuery. Now, the first method is the file upload method. The second is the Google Cloud Storage, wherein you can create a storage bucket and upload the file there and then connect it to BigQuery. The direct file upload method has some limitations on the size of the file you can upload. Next is Google Sheets. If you have data in your Google Drive in form of Google Sheets, you can always use that as an external table. In my previous video on the change data capture mechanism, we used Google Sheets extensively. Other methods of ingesting data are PubSub and the data flow. PubSub is generally used for real time data, IoT sensor data as well as files which are published onto a topic. Dataflow is more of an ETL product, ETL tool, and Dataflow and PubSub are out of scope of our discussion in this video. We are going to focus on file upload, Google Cloud Storage, and Google Sheets, which are in green color. In the next set of videos, we are going to look at Jupyter Notebooks, other applications, and data studio or looker for reporting purposes from BigQuery. So what I'm trying to explain here is the BigQuery really forms the heart of a data warehouse platform on Google Cloud. So in order to get this thing started, there is a Google Drive link mentioned in the video description section below, and you would reach to BigQuery. And here you would find data files and download the customer churn.csv for file upload methods and you have this customer churn google sheets you can make a copy next go to the bigquery and make sure the project is selected you can select anywhere to create a data set and you must have known data set by now we discussed this extensively in our previous set of videos so data set is basically in schema equivalent of schema from other databases as compared to other databases. So I'll create a data set known as demo. In the demo, I'm going to create a table and from the source, I click on upload, but there are multiple options, empty table, storage, upload, drive, or big table. I'm going to use upload. It'll ask you to browse the file. So my file is in BigQuery and data set and customer churn. And this is my project name, demo. It's by default native table and customer churn upload method. You can use schema auto detect so that you don't have to really write the column names and the types. And under the advanced options, you can select a comma delimited and header rows to skip one because the first row is the header row. So you create the table. and you would see that a table is created with data set. There you go. So that's how you upload a table in BigQuery. Next method is using the, the Google Sheets. So create table here, use drive, 
and you would need the URL. Go back to Google Drive, open the Google Sheets. This is the data set. Copy the link and paste it. In the file format, select CSV or Google Sheet. Name of the table is underscore G sheet. Again, the auto detect schema. Please note that when you uploaded the CSV, the table type by default was internal, the native. For Google Sheets, it's external. That means the data is going to reside in the customer underscore churn itself, the Google Sheet, all it will be like a link, a view. So go to advanced options and say header rows to skip one. Say create table. So another table, now G Sheet is created, but this time you're not able to see the tab here as you saw in upload the preview. If you go to the details, this is number of records, where it is, but in customer churn G sheet, the, the details are different. It says that you have an external data config, the source, and you know when it was uploaded and stuff like that. Next, we are going to use the cloud storage. In order to do that, I'll navigate to the storage here and go to browser. For this step, you would need to activate the $300 credit, uh, which you will get. So create a bucket. A bucket is a logical a folder or a space. So I'll say my bucket, continue. Sorry, taken, it's a 12, three, four, five, <laughs> so I'll say BDCS one, two, three. Okay. And continue. We can select a type. Region means lowest latency only in one region. Dual means two and multi means three. You can select the standard near line, cold line, but standard for our purposes. Fine grain. No, no change and then retention policy by default and say create. As soon as you do that, a bucket of is created BDCS12. Now I can create a folder or upload the file directly here. Let me create a folder. So uploaded file. I'm just showing you how to create a folder uploaded file folder has been created and I go inside it you see the path I upload files customer churn dot CSV and I uploaded a file customer under churn underscore dot CSV in the bucket next going back to BigQuery I am going to use so in our demo data set I am going to create a table in the source select storage I can provide the bucket name or just browse so bdcs123 uploaded file and select the file Again, the same concept here. Now it, you have an option to select native or external table. For CSV upload, the default and the only option is native. For G Sheet, the only option is external, but for the cloud storage, you can have a native or external. I'll put native. Native means the data would be in the BigQuery, copied over, and external means it's just a link. So I'll say customer underscore churn, underscore customer churn, 
underscore GCS, Google Cloud Storage Bucket. So I'll have it auto detect and number of headers to skip, number one and create. And you see a job is created, go to table and now if you see this preview tab, this means that it's a native table. And if you don't see a preview tab, that means it's an external table. This is a very simple way how you identify. And here you are. You are ready to run and see the records. So in the next video, we are going to connect this using, an, using a Colab notebook. And we are then going to start on machine learning using BigQuery. Keep watching.